Hello, 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 everyone. Hello. Thank you so much for coming to my channel, Spiritual Liaison, one, two, three, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself first. Please live your absolute best life and make sure that you get an amazing life on every single day. Thank you so much for hitting that like, share, and subscribe button. And thank you to all of my members. Thank you to all everyone who leaves donations. Um, to me, when you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, that is a form of donations. Um, <clears throat> when you watch the video to the end, that's a form of donation, as well as your monetary donations. It's all greatly appreciated, and I thank you for that. Okay, just wanted to let you all know that, okay? Know that you all are doing amazing. So what we're going to do is get into a reading about your past person. This could be whoever it is on your mind. Doesn't necessarily have to be the last person you mess with. Could it be somebody? It could be somebody before that. Um, just whoever is on your mind. We're going to get some information. We're going to find out how they've been feeling about you, Pisces. Are they in a new relationship? Do they think about you? Um, things like that, okay? So the first card that I'm pulling is from the Lover's Oracle deck. So we're going to see where this reading goes. Okay, let's see. It says reflection give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best so at this time whoever you are separated from they're giving you your space and you're giving them their space and they feel like this is for the best you feel like it's for the best as well so that is the beginning of the reading and we're going to get into this we're going to use some oracle cards and um I'm going to use some tarot cards, okay? So, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so the Oracle card came out says courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So whoever the person is, I get that they are giving you space, but Pisces, I kind of get that someone kind of fears coming in. Not that they fear that you're going to do something harmful to them, but they may fear that things are not going to, your, your response may not be to their liking. Um, Again, and roles can be reversed. Pisces, you may feel like if you go to somebody that they aren't going to be receptive of your energy or receptive of your, your love or your emotions. But since the reading is about how your person feel about you, whoever you're thinking about, um, how they feel about you, it's like they felt like they needed to give you some space um, and that they, you know, they're kind of trusting that if it's meant to be, it will be, that you all will be brought back together. But I also get that this person kind of is in some energy where they're trying to find the courage and inner strength to kind of face their fears of getting back with you. So you and this person could have been separated for a while. Maybe they, they've been thinking a lot about you and they are kind of not sure how you're going to respond or if you're going to be happy to hear from them or, you know, what you're going to do if they reach out to you. Um, let's pull some tarot cards and see. You may feel like that this this space that you all, this, you know, break that you all have taken from each other or like giving each other the space was much needed. Maybe emotions needed to sort of calm down or, you know, things like that. Um, level heads prevail. Okay, the eight of pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. So let's see why this Eight of Pentacles here. Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Let's clarify this. Um, this person could just be in the process right now. They may be focusing on learning something like school or um, they may have signed up for classes. They may be keeping themselves busy in a very positive way. Or they may be going on some like on a job training or just trying to master something. This could also be master their emotions. Maybe they felt like with this Queen of Swords, they did something kind of harsh to you. Maybe they were kind of harsh with their words, their thinking or something like that. 
So they I, that would explain why they feel fear of coming back your way. They may feel like you're not going to receive them well due to how things, how the separation ended or how things kind of went between you all. So I get that this person um, sort of may have said something or did something that they feel like they kind of like can't take back. Um, it does look like they, they are trying to work on themselves too. And they're trying to like build up that courage to sort of like face their fears and come back in and say something to you. This person also could be working a lot. They may be doing a lot of overtime to kind of keep themselves busy so they don't think about you as much. So they don't really focus on what happened, the situation, what they did, what they said or whatever. Looks like this person is trying to use something else as a distraction, but we're going to get into what that distraction is. What is this person working on with the Eight of Pentacles? What is this person working on with the Eight of Pentacles? You have the Ace of Cups here. So this person is trying to work through emotional difficulties. Your person could have like, they're trying to see what they can offer you emotionally after being sort of cold and hard or sort of blunt with their words or may they the cutoff may have been sudden or you know whatever but it's like this person could be trying to work on their emotions master their emotions so they'll know how they can come in and offer you something sincere <clears throat> in a sincere way Okay, then why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this Queen of Swords here? The Magician. So, and then what is this? The Chariot. So this person feels like they moved forward too quickly. They feel like they sort of, this person could feel like they thought that they knew that they were making the right decision or what was best for them at the time by sort of kind of like separating from you or ending something with you or being harsh towards you. They really felt like this was the right thing to do. But I get that this person is now kind of like feeling like they moved forward way too quickly and they kind of was in some sort of illusion that you moving forward from you was the best thing. But something about that energy has changed now. I want to pull another card out on this side because two cards came out with this Queen of Swords. So I'm going to pull one more out with this um, Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups came out. So I get that this person is working very hard on some sort of offer. This could be an offer of apology or just clarity on how they really feel. But I get that this person is working on their emotions behind the scenes. They also, again, could be working a lot of overtime. Like not, I don't see this person really out having a lot of fun right now. It's like their their main goal is, is their job or something. Like a workaholic. The two of pentacles. This person also may be thinking about how they juggled you and someone else. They may be, this to me feels like they're really thinking about that, that they felt like they could kind of have both things at the same time, both people, you and someone else at the same time. Um, maybe you were aware of this and you were not willing to be a participant, um, a willing participant in a third party connection. So it looks like this person may have said, okay, you don't want to play. Okay, then I'm going to leave you and go to and stay with someone else. But this person is now feeling like they were under some sort of like spell or illusion or some sort of illusion or something. Like they feel like they moved way too fast in their decision or something. So this person is trying to get up the courage to face the fears, you know, face their fears with confidence and come back and say something to you. They may be bringing in the truth, 
and, and wanting to apologize about trying to have this balancing act between you and someone else. They could have done this with a younger earth sign, like a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. <clears throat> this person may have been like a the person that they sort of like hmm okay so it looks like also something about this person's they feel like you were like their cheerleader in life they're seeing you as like you were the person who was like their cheerleader their emotional cheerleader in life like you encourage something about they just feel like they moved too fast and now it's like they felt like they needed to give you space you needed to give them space things like that but they feel like they made a decision out of haste or something maybe because you would not go along you know with being a part of a third party connection so now it does look like that this person is in some sort of energy where they're reflecting on how encouraged they felt when you were with them or you were sort of like rooting this person on. Maybe you were like their cheerleader where you were always like, I believe in you. I know you can do it. You know, you're great. You could have just been always speaking words of encouragement over this person. And I get that they sort of kind of took it for granted. And now they're needing that. They want that. They desire that time apart from this person has made them realize something about you. Now, let's see. It says, give each other space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. This person is trying to stay optimistic that if it's meant for you all to be together, you will. They have tried to give you enough space, but I see that this person is kind of of tired of giving you space they kind of want to come your way now let's see yeah the six of cups is here and the tower card mm -hmm. so this person is it's like they you may be getting like almost surprised to hear from them you may be almost surprised that they're coming back i get that this person like they have a lot of emotions for you whether you know it or not this may not be somebody who show their emotions well, though. Let's see. Let's with the six of cups. Let's see. Let's clarify the six of cups. Queen of Pentacles. So again, I see Earth. So this person could again. They could have. They could have been. They could have also chose move forward in another direction with someone. Um. Like I said, it's they could have. This could have been a Cancer too, or a a Virgo. But it looks like they're looking at you now as being like they something about like you were their cheerleader. You were emotional su supportive of them. You could have even encouraged this person to be kind of. You could have been very generous to this person as well with your emotions and possibly even finances. Or just something that you were doing to support them. This person is thinking a lot about all of that. They're reflecting on the past, how happy they were with you with the Six of Cups here. And they know that something about them not making a decision, procrastinating or moving really slow is the reason that things turned out the way that it, it did. Again, I get you're going to be sort of surprised to hear from this person. You may even run into them somewhere, kind of like it takes you off guard or something. May, you know, you may be out doing something and you didn't kind of expect to run into this person. But I get that this person is going to have some sort of communication with you. Let's see, let's clarify this tower moment. Mm, okay, we have the Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords. So... This person still, they, they want to come your way. They want to move into a calmer place with you, Pisces. 
but they're still hiding something under the surface. They're still kind of being sneaky about something. So they may have not completely let that other energy go. It's just that they desire you because I get that you, like I said, were some sort of like emotional cheerleader. Maybe, you know, something that you did made them feel good about themselves. And it's like they need, they're desiring, they're trying to, you know, they feel like you all have been apart long enough, but they don't know how to come back to you. This person feel like they move too quickly with their decision to sort of brush you off and in this connection. So it looks like this person still is, as much as they are desiring to have you back, they still are slow to make a decision. And it looks like this decision is they have not completely cut someone else off. They're still hiding something. They're still being sneaky. They want to move into calmer waters with you. So they are going to reach out, but they're still hiding something under the surface. They're still trying to see if they can outfox you in a situation. Like if you would come back and root them on, but they can have both. You know, they can sort of like, they realize that they were trying to balance both of you all. But it's like they want to be able to put one down and then pick the other up. And then when they, they're having hard times with the other one, they want to come pick you up. This person is going to, I get that they're going to apologize about hey, doing this, hoping it was sort of like, hoping you would sort of let down your defenses or something, but they're still slow to make a decision to be with only one person, only you, even though time has, even though they see your value, they see what you bring to the table, they see everything, they miss you. They desire to have you back, but they're not being honest about a connection they're still in. <clears throat> this person also, like I said, they could be working a lot right now, trying to use work as a distraction so they don't have to always spend time with that other person and they can have time to kind of think about you in peace at work, what they should do. They're reflecting a lot about how you how they felt when they were with you. I get that you did make this person happy. They're just, I just kind of get they're greedy. This person isn't satisfied with just one person. They have to have numerous people. <clears throat> this could be something that they saw growing up in relation in their own parents' relationship. Maybe they didn't have that kind of father who was you know, faithful to their mother, or they didn't have a mother who was faithful to their father. I don't know, but it just looks like this person kind of like their view of what a relationship should be. They want you to go along with something. I get that you just kind of chose not to, so they brushed you off, but they feel like they moved too fast. They want to have both of you. Now, let's see. I just want to see. We're going to get a little bit more into this person. I'm going to pull some Oracle cards because I'm going to get more into in depth about what this person is um, going to do. I want to see who their other person is. And because it looks like the other person may know about you, Pisces. The other person may be aware of you, who they're sort of like dealing with. This other person may be okay with being in a third party connection too. Okay, but we're gonna take this over to the member side and kind of get a little deeper into this. I'll see you all over there. Love you guys.